Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Ico. This is Camo Wolf. I just noticed that you're as always rising up and waking as soon as I load the save file, and Ico's just there sleeping away. What a lazy guy. Alright, time to wake up, though. Come on, Ico. Shake that sleep off your head. Yeah. Okay. So. No, no, no. Okay, if you guys remember last time, um, we overcame that beautiful yet treacherous windmill and open up these doors here so we're gonna go through them and see what waits for us and it is a room with a chain so Yorta can't climb chains so there's a job for Ico alright Oh, what what bastards, eh? They're just, they're just waiting there until I finished climbing up the chain. Oh, and they're coming from all sides. Well, guess I better slide back down the chain and help Yorda out. Get away from her. No, not the pit. The pit of despair. Alright, come on. Yeah, Yorda, go stand in that corner. Nobody puts Yorda in a corner. What? How did I not get him? You guys suck. You know that? You really do. Come on. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah, you guys crawling up the walls. I don't like you. Whoa, that guy just grabbed her out of nowhere. I didn't even see him come out. Yeah, you, you sneaky old bastard, you. Also, I find if you get these... Oh, no a big old swing at me. Also, I find with these guys, if you get them against a wall, it can be very good for just kind of pounding them into nothing. Oh, and they called on his buddy for help. Couldn't fight his own battle, eh? <clears throat> I really like trash-talking these shadows. I don't know why. Seems to be a thing I do quite frequently, though. Anyway, they're gone. Good riddance. Oh, what the heck? Are you still alive, man? Ignore those guys, Yorda. Ignore them. They can't touch you. Because they don't have hands. No. Oh. Might as well kill them while I'm here. Anyway, let's bring us up to this nice area up here. Um, as you will notice, there is grates over all these holes except for one. Thus leading us to believe we have to go down that hole. Which we do. Also, you can go at these holes there. There's nothing there. They're just balconies. I'm not even going to bother showing you guys. Okay. Oh, they killed themselves. That's what I like to see. Yeah, Yord, I see you over there. Anyhow, so we fall into this little sewer system. And go on this switch here, which I should press down. And Yorda, you can come in and join the party. The sewer party. She's so she's such like a shining spot of pristine light. While everything else around this area is so dark. Okay, now I'm going to leave her on this switch here, which is going to open this door, which I can kind of move in this guts in there. We go. Okay, I'm going against the wall. Hopefully she doesn't get off of it. Okay, good. Sometimes she likes to, you know, not stay on the switch, and then that just leads to all kinds of problems, but she's being very cooperative today, so thank you, Yorda. Oops, I did not jump in time. But yeah, so you want to you climb up this pipe here. And uh, then just hop back over here. And go back over to this hole grate. Because you probably notice those are Yorda doors up there. So, we're going to go down here. No, Iko. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to get. There we go. No, Iko, what are you doing? No, Iko, you fool, man. You fool. There we go. This is what I like. Okay, sweet. I kind of like when you do in this section, it, when you go down there goes into like Yorta Cam or whatever. Shows her when you're leaning down waiting for her. I don't know. It's kind of some cool cinematography, in my opinion. Anyway, so that's how we get her up there. That also took me a long time to figure out when I first played this game. I don't know why. Maybe it should be more obvious than it is. And I'm just stupid. Anyway, pop these puppies open. Excellent. Good work, Yorta. I knew I could count on you. 
what have we here? Ah, uh, yes. The elevator. Nope, Yorda. I need you in here. I'm not leaving you behind. That's not the way I play. Okay. So we took our little lift here. Up to the next layer of the castle. And, as you may notice, there's a switch up there. A switch that I cannot reach. As well as a ledge that I cannot reach. So what's a boy to do? Well, there's a nice break in the fence over here. So let's start with that. Get my climb on. Anyway, I was just thinking, um... The other day, I recently just started playing Dark Souls. I know a little bit behind. That game came out like a year and a half ago or whatever. Um, but I just started playing it, and it's a fantastic game. I'm really, really enjoying it. But uh, I couldn't help but notice that, at least to me, it seems that they had heavy inspiration from both Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. Um, because the, the artwork in it is very... Well, it's kind of similar to both, but the castle in it reminds me a lot of the castle in Ico. Um, as well, the... Um, the boss fights remind me a lot of the Colossi from Shadow of the Colossus. Not specifically those exact Colossi, but a lot of them are like really humongous monsters that there's very specific ways of beating. And you have to find out like the key to beating them. So it reminds me of it reminds me of these two games in that way. Pretty cool. I mean both those games are awesome and then Dark Souls is also treating me pretty well, so can't really complain. Oh man, these guys again. Yeah, I'm gonna get you right as soon as you come out of the hole. Yeah, beating you up against a wall. That's what I, that's what I was kind of talking about with that wall there. I got a pretty good amount of hits on that guy there. Yeah, you. Yeah, what you gonna do? You're against a wall. You can't do anything, man. You, all you can do is stand there and take it. Yeah, I made pretty quick work of that guy. And then this bird over here. I need to get him against the wall, that's what I need. Okay, yeah. Oh no. See, if they don't have any room to fall down, that's when you can really start laying the herd on. Are there any more of those guys, or is it just those two? No, I figured there had to be more. When was the last time there was just two, right? Pretty much never. It's alright, I'll get this guy against the wall. This area is pretty good for fighting guys because there's just walls everywhere. You dead? You dead, son? Yeah, he's dead. That was the last guy. Okay, perfect. So, I know what you're thinking. Bring Yorda up on that ledge. Well, my friends, not quite yet. First things first. We need to use this box here to go and uh, make use of this switch because we ain't getting nowhere without pulling this guy. Now let's just see what this does. Ah uh, yes, it extends that chain, which will come in very helpful later. <laughs> I'm, hoping not, I'm hoping I'm not sounding too like tired or lethargic. I just donated some blood. Like I literally like, pretty much just got back from the blood donating clinic. And so I might be a little tired because of that. But, you know, you gotta give. It's a good thing to do. And it's not, it really doesn't hurt. Anyone who says it hurts really just, I don't know, can't tolerate needles or something, I don't know. It's never really hurt me. So. Alright, there's a big pit down there. And there's a couch right there. But you know what? I'm not gonna go and save with that couch just yet. I don't feel the need to at the moment. But yeah, now if you've ever been on the fence about donating blood, I would say just do it. Like, literally, it's like, have you ever gotten a needle for any sort of immunization? Like, it's no worse than that. It's really not bad at all. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're just selfish and greedy. Do, 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 do. Alright, hop down. And yes, 
Now that pit is full of shadow monsters. Even more reason why Yorda should not fall down there. Not that she would survive the fall anyway. So yeah, there's more Yorda doors. It is also reading week right now here in Manitoba. Which means... Well, I guess it's Wednesday right now, but I have the week off, so I'm going to try and get some good recording in. The earlier part of the week, I have not been successful in that, but we'll see how much recording I can get done, because once I get back in school, it's probably going to be full of tests and all that fun stuff again, so... See what I can do this week, and hip, oh, what an epic jump, eh? Yeah, I see you. Oh man, these are the ducking guys. I hate these guys. They're so hard to hit. You can kind of get them on that upswing, and that's about it. Don't. Oh, you sucker punched me, man, right in the back of the head. What is this? I guess they're shadows. They're not really fighting clean. Isn't really there main concern. Their main concern is just the complete and utter destruction of myself. Oh, who's this guy now? What? Oh my god. That guy's fast. He's like a rabbit. Look at him. He's also disturbingly humanoid looking. But he's got the ears of a rabbit. Yeah, I see you crouching down there. You no good wascally wabbit. Oh, yeah. Come on, get on the upswing. Oh my god. At least these shadows are like buddies. They help each other out. Also, good thing none of them can fly, because otherwise they would just be going up and abducting Yorda right now, I'm sure. Okay, sweet. That was the last guy. So, got some blocks here you want to push out. Number one. And number two. And then we'll just follow it out. And looky, we're back here. Hooray. But now we have the use of blocks. For some reason, when I first played this, my initial reaction was to try and push the block down that hole, which you just can't do, because there's a lip there. So don't even try it. Just don't even try it. Anyway, the real use of these blocks is now we can climb up to this ledge here and go around through a different exit. Hooray! So, yep, go up here, come up these stairs, climb, oops, climb up this chain. Nice and slowly, eh, there, Iko. I don't know, maybe that's his old... He seems seems like he's climbing it real slow right now, but that's probably just the rate that he always climbs it at, and I just think it's slower for some reason today. Okay, perfect. Now we climb ever upward. And out this very bright door. And where are we now? Let's climb up this ladder to find out. Okay. So now we are pretty much directly above where we are. Oh, there's Yorda. Hi, Yorda. Okay, now we're up on this fun platform here. I'm going to make a running leap of faith. Bah! And then we'll do a very short chain kicks, which look kind of funny. Yeah, they look pretty funny, because there's like no slack to really get anything going on. And nothing left to do but pull this lever. Which, as you may guess, push that across. Uh-oh. Yorda, just go to the doors. Just go to the doors, Yorda. Go to the doors. She's not going to do it. She's not going to go to the doors. She doesn't have that much intelligence. Oh my god. So, yeah. She's inevitably going to get abducted in the time it takes you to get down here. It's just, that's pretty much, there's nothing you can do about that. But fortunately, we're right by these doors, so bam! Zap those spiders. Ooh, real close up here. That was like an extreme close-up edition of the Yorda door. Um, 
Right, I didn't think this through, I suppose, because I thought, <laughs> I guess I thought I'd be able to get back to that couch over there, but clearly I can't. So I guess we'll just keep going until the next couch. I was gonna, I was gonna save on that couch and end the episode, but no dice, no dice. There should be a couch soon-ish. Yeah, or else you're not going this way. Come on, Yorda. Come on, Yorda. Good thing I'm not going for the trophy over there. Yes, that's a ladder I do not want to climb yet, if I recall. Okay. Oh, yes, I know where we're going. All the way over here. Very long walk, but a scenic one. Um, something to note, though. Hey, that's the bridge that we came from. I guess that's the forest we originally came from, eh? Um, if you're going for trophies, you do want to save on every couch in the game. Which I just did not do. But, I mean, I already have that trophy, because I've beaten this game before. But if you save at every couch in the game, then you get a trophy. So, do that. Man, I hope I find another couch soon, though. I uh, hope, I uh, hope. Alright, Yora, open these doors. Whoa. That was extreme. Wow, she just ran for it. Usually she doesn't just gun it in like that. Come on. Come on, Aiko. Aiko, what? He wasn't going in there. I don't know what his deal was. His major malfunction. Oh, there's a couch. And there's a sword. Excellent. That sword is just what I need. Alright, Yorda. You know what we have to do. Go to this couch. You can do it. I know you've had issues in the past, Yorda, but climb this ladder, please. There we go. Yes, that sword is stuck in there. I want it. I want it bad. Oh, you guys. All I want to do is save. And you're just not going to let me, are you? You're going to come in here and beat up on my Yorda. Get back into the pit from whence you came. Ugh. There's not very many of them, though. There's only, like, this one dude. There's got to be more than just him. They never just come solo. Well, he's dead, so I guess we'll find out. Whoa, oh, really? It was just him. He was on a solo mission, man. He was like, yeah, I can take these guys out by myself. I know so many of my brothers have died before me, but I'm just going to do this solo. It's a cocky bastard. Yes, I do want to save. Thank you. Uh, let's go over to slot 6 here by the main gate. Okay, how's my time doing here? Not the greatest, I imagine, because of that whole windmill fiasco from last episode. 143, that's not too bad. And we're in the East Arena. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Ico. On the next episode, we'll explore this East Arena, see just what it has to offer, and with luck, get that sword. So, I hope to see you guys there next time, and bye-bye.